Hey everybody, this is Mordecai with the Mordecai and Tony Show. Um, I am just doing a recap of my uh, DNA analysis through um, 23andMe and uh, GeneBase.com. Um, I have my percentages in front of me. Um, on uh, My paternal DNA is Western European. Um, my maternal DNA, uh, it's switched from D to M and back from M to D. And... Um, that's because now that they think that there were uh, five, no, six branches of the DNA that came through that became the uh, Native Americans. And um, a lot of that M uh, DNA is also in India. It's also in East Africa. Um, but what they had at first was D. And now they have M. And then if you look on the 23andMe, if you look up haplogroup M and haplogroup D, it'll tell you like that now they believe there were six branches that actually became the Native Americans that, you know, instead of the five that they had originally. But um, my uh, percentage of my DNA is predominantly um, Sub-Saharan African, which is 82.6%. And my... Um, the breakdown of that is 60.9% of that is Western European, 0.6% uh, of that is South and Central Africa, 21.1% of that is broadly Sub-Saharan African, and 14.1% uh, of my DNA is European, 0.7% uh, of that is British and Irish, 0.1% of that is Finnish, 4.8% of that is broadly Northwestern European. 0.1% of that is Ashkenazi Jew. 8.5% uh, of that is broadly European. 0.8% uh, of my DNA is East Asian and Native American. 0.6% of that is Southeast Asian. Uh, less than 0.1% of that is Native American. And 0.1% of that is broadly East Asian and Native American. And then 2.5% of my DNA is actually unassigned. Um, and I actually sent in my, uh, uh, Native American, my DNA sequence into Dr. I think it's Douglas McDonald. Um, a lot of people use him on 23andMe and I, if you look up his other stuff, I, I think it's Illinois, uh, where he, um, is actually based out of, uh, but, um, I sent in my, um, raw data and he ran it through and it, he sent me back an email saying that the, um, the, percentage of uh, Native American that I actually had in my uh, DNA wasn't noise. It actually was Native American. Um, so, you know, grandmother, she was telling the truth about that. Um, a lot of, and then too, back in the day, if you said, you know, I got a little Indian in my family, you know, that's why my hair is so curly, you know, people would, uh, oh, that bitch trying to act like she Indian or she trying to act like she white or something like that. So a lot of black people really don't talk about the um, different ancestry. They just say, oh, we're black. You know, so like somebody from, you know, Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic. Oh, I'm Puerto Rican or I'm Dominican. Not really thinking about all the admixture you are or that's their nationality. You know, I'm American, but I happen to be black and I happen to be uh, multi-ethnic. So, you know, that's my DNA um, uh, breakdown. I also have 1.2% of Neanderthal, which came from my European side, which... Basically, Neanderthal, caveman, ooga, booga, ooga, booga. But really, that's all I have to say about that. Once again, this is Mordecai with the Mordecai and Tony Show. And um, if you have any other questions about my DNA or, you know, have any other questions about my uh, mother's side, the D and the M, or the Western European for my mater uh, paternal DNA, um, you know, you can leave a comment. If you have a question, also do that. Uh, please thumbs up and also subscribe and thank you for all, everyone that has been subscribing. Um, so it's late. I'm tired and I'm stumbling my words. But y'all have a great night. And once again, this is Mordecai with the Mordecai and Tony Show. And until again, bye-bye.